Man, this is insane. I like this place. What's up, guys? So, I'm on my way to Samut Prakan and uh, about to take a grab 300 baht from Bangkok to Samut Prakan. Let's go. So, it is 8.20 right now. We're on our way to go to the Sukhumvit line. So, instead of taking the grab, which will be 300 baht, gonna end up taking the MRT and then taking the bus which will cut my costs in half because the MRT is only two bucks but uh, I got my drone with me nice out because it's not super hot I mean it's humid but it's early in the morning this is the best time to get going I showed up during the start of the rainy season well, not the start, but the heaviest rains month. museum and uh, when we pulled out this huge elephant statue was looking at me I was like oh my god so the ticket is 400 for foreigners and 200 for Thai people and this is where you buy them the entrance the museum you have to dress appropriately and wear your mask as of right now but here's how you dress appropriately wear pants and as long as it's covering the knees Bit of the history behind the temple there are three stories inside it contains antiquities priceless collections ancient religious objects belonging to Lek Vidyapan 
I might be butchering that name. He was an eccentric Thai businessman, millionaire, and patron of culture responsible for constructing the ancient Siam Erawan Museum and Sanctuary of Truth in Pattaya. He also funded the ancient city of Siam, which we're about to see. In Buddhism, Indra is also known as the leader of all heavens. He is known to be the leader of all gods. Irwan means water, rain, cloud, rainbow, or lightning. This all signifies Indra using Irwan elephant as a vehicle, flying across the realm, and give rain to the earth. So Irwan, the three-headed elephant, he is the master of all elephants. In the Irwan temple, there is four pillars, each signifying different philosophers or spiritual teachers. The intricate designs, the stucco was made by Pechabori craftsmen. In the top you can see a stained glass ceiling which represents the roof of the world, the zodiac and the Milky Way. Inside the temple there is different influences such as Hindu, Christianity, and Buddhism. They polish the wood so it's really slippery but there's an elevator right here so you don't have to walk all the way up and down this is in the basement it's on the side of the building when you come in, in the front entrance, there's a Buddha that you cannot take a picture of, but the rest of it, you can take a picture of. It looks so cool. a.m. to 6 p.m. is when it's open. So for a foreigner, it's 800 baht, and for Thai people, it's 400 baht. So if you get a Thai driver's license, you can pay Thai prices for the temple. Social media. Wow, check this out. It's raining a little bit.
was wondering if they were going to stop if we had time to walk around because I didn't see anybody walk around. But thankfully we can walk around in this area. This is insane. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of temples here. And check out this big fish creature. This temple is similar to the Hell Temple. What make it noy? Oh, super bright. <coughs> you can pay a little bit extra to ride the e-bikes that are right there. Uh, I might end up doing that. This is a really nice place. thirsty I bought two waters before I left but I left it in the fridge I'm regretting it but it is super hot out looks like this is the last stop this is the main one that I wanted to see
place is awesome. Hi, glad I got that bicycle. Now, in some water. And it's nice to ride around with the bicycle. My phone is almost out of juice, so I'm gonna use up as much as I can. I never seen this on a bike. Usually there's a kickstand on the side, but to have this flip up like that, maybe I've never seen older bikes. 